Good evening, everybody. Friday night is Jackbox night, and we have the camera live, and we recently got Argent32 subscribing, resubbing for the six month tier. Six months of fun. Let's play sub hype! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to get like that loud or anything. Sharkath, Tuna Nuke, DBC Girl. You're not home yet to join, but I will be right there. Okay, that is fine. If you are safe to do so, you can be playing. Jackbox.tv, go on a mobile device, tablet, even a browser. Tonight I'm playing on the computer because I'm flying solo tonight. Philly is having a well-deserved night out. So, she's she's with her cool friends. I'm just here on my lonesome, just chilling out with you guys. But who's to say that you guys aren't cooler? No, who am I kidding? Philly's cooler than me. <laughs> but yeah, so the rules are simple. We're playing three rounds of Jackboxing. We usually go with You Don't Know Jack, Split the Room, Mad vs City. If you're in the audience and you don't get a chance to play, I do seriously recommend you do play. Uh, or take part in the audience because they do have a say in the game. 9.30, let's get going. Now the rules of the game, we will go through all the explanations of the rules. If you like so that means you get to. Screens. You'll love Binge Pipes menu screen. You won't believe number three. But yeah, let's just make sure that we got our extended timers for... Uh, yeah, extended timers on. Excellent. So, room code will come out. Um, Epic Ponage. Uh, basically, Philly's out on... Out about on the town with her friends, so... Binge pipe is on Don't worry, Nexus, we're playing two more games after this. Binge pipe. The glitches make it folksy. Right, Hello, I'm so... Hello, I'm Masterson, and as a child, I was bitten by a radioactive trivia host. Then my uncle died, and so I have to... Looks like we have a head-to-head-to-head-to-head-to-head-to-head-to-head to head 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 competition. And since we've got some folks in overflow seating, I'll be tacking an audience bonus onto every question. You see, audience, audience bonus counts, guys. Question, do be sure to, to roll with punches. And if you do miss it or miss part of it, you can check out the archive on the second channel tomorrow. Hang on tight, we're in for a ride. <laughs> Question one. First up, True Wes. Which actor with the surname Swinton has appeared in several Wes Anderson films? This symbol, Swinton, this symbol, Swinton, this symbol, Swinton, or this I symbol, got it. Swinton? Yeah, here we go. Takes a while to think. Hey Nightwing, hope you're doing well. You're just out. watching the first game. Please, no one is greater than Swinton. Oh. That symbol is a tilde. As the Tilda Swinton. Swinton. The actor who's appeared in such Wes Anderson works as Moonrise Kingdom, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and Isle of Dogs. <laughs> and well, this is you don't know Jack Magna. Kind of bucks symbol, the trend. Tilda Swinton. And how the audience fare? Not a bad showing, but we've got at least a few dummies in the group. That means that right answer is worth even more. Let's hey! See if the luck holds out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tuna Noob, unfortunately, I don't have uh, that um, Jackbox pack on the PC. We're just Which doing of the these three games. Which would be one. least likely to get eviscerated in the quiet place? Groucho, Chico, Harpo, or Zeppo? Uh, I'm not really sure about this one, but I'll give it a go anyway. Okay, who chose what? Well, to be fair, Zeppo was really not interesting enough to kill, but no. In the movie The Quiet Place, the monsters hunt by sound and Harpo didn't speak. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I hate seeing movies in the theater. I stopped going because, sadly, there aren't monsters that eat people who talk when they shouldn't. Why don't we do it with Creed? 
Next. Obligatory Uranus pun. But there's no time for wordplay. It's a dis or dat. Ah, uh, the dis or dat. I'm gonna list off some planets from our solar system, but also some sex in the city. Oh characters. boy! For each one, you'll tell me if planets is one ring, of my little habits. Or if there's not a ring, and ring in this case meaning wedding band or floating circle of space debris. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between ring or no ring. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Let's go. Saturn. That does have a ring. Good start. Everyone knew. Charlotte. What? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Jupiter. No ring. I mean, it technically does, like, maybe, like, a tiny thing, but nothing, like, really, mainly specific. Oh, okay, I guess that counts. No, that does not. Miranda. Miranda. No. No. Oh. No. Miranda. Se Dang it. Sex in the city. I'm just gonna go with no ring. Just gonna go with no ring. There we go. Nope. Most of you earned my respect, but you guys. You failed the best. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Looks like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable oh, ways. Oh, Shark and, and Callum have got screws. For each player who chooses they can really to turn the screws. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself. Again, if you're watching, go to jackbox.tv and do the room code and get part in the audience. Really help change the game. Introducing, why couldn't it have been Scrappy-Doo? Say Scooby-Doo mysteriously vanishes while solving a mystery. All the gang finds is the tag of his collar floating in a pool of blood. How do they know it's his? It's shaped like a paw print, it's shaped like a Scooby snack, it's shaped like his head, or it has his initials on it. I know this one. Look sharp. Player 8 decided to screw. This one goes out to my grandma. Love you, Grams. Ooh. Stealthy, and stealthy. Rot row. <laughs> Scooby Doo's collar tag is emblazoned with his big gold initials S D. <laughs> Nicely screwed play rate. Spend this wisely. Right. Nightwing. It's because it's the easy. Next it's up, just the most easy, Avenge really. Me. It look. It Which looks the, the best, and you know we got to deal with resources and budget. The king of Wakanda. T'Challa, 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 or T'Challa. Okay, let's take a look. That's the correct spelling of T'Challa, the Black Panther. I'm very good kudos. Wakanda forever. Nicely done. That's the end of round one. Let's see who's cheating. Currently, player eight is in the lead. And oh, okay. The screw, Callum. You managed to say that. Sort that out. Our averages. 
Market research indicates that it's time for more screws. Round two screws have crazier effects. Oh. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that okay, gets the boo. question wrong. Oh, so don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better you're gonna, answer You're going to turn the screw on us, are you? Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Just wonderful, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Oh, here's a good one. Let's all go to the lobby. Okay. Uh, I hate seeing movies in the theater. Hold on. Deja vu. Have I mentioned I don't like seeing movies in theaters? Yep, in the first question. Yep, in the second question. Well, well. Ah. Player seven. Oh, Argent. Jeez. You remember your password, right? Didn't even get a chance. Oh god. Oh. I can't answer. It was a password that. Oh! Dude! Hope you like what you picked. Ugh. Oh. Well, it's come to this. That's right. It was the second question. That okay, was the. Good. Oh. That's the worst all. screw yet. You can't even you answer. Know, I stop seeing movies in the theater because, sadly, there aren't monsters that eat people who talk when they shouldn't. Oh, oh that's well, nasty. Arjun. Oh. Nice use of the Ouch. Player seven. Here's that cash. That. That. That was vicious. Set. How about this one? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Yay! Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Monster. John Lennon's alter ego in Yellow Submarine. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? I think it was Octopus. Brace yourself. Player two dropped a screw on you guys. You don't mind reading. Well, not when technically there's like a three-way fusion possible because you know Metamoron could do up to five according to Dragon Ball Fusion, so maybe. I think it's called Ron Tanks. What'd you guys pick? In the 1968 animated film Yellow Submarine, John Lennon is introduced as Frankenstein's monster. Oh, shoot. Expert screwing player two. I believe this belongs to you. Ponage, you are pulling out again. Hey, question. Binge pipe now. Oh, player's choice. Surveys. Would you like a smart question or a stupid question? Choose on your devices now. Hmm. I think I know what we would all want. So everyone gets to vote. Choose what we want. Smart question or a stupid question. Here are the consequences of your choices. Of course we want a stupid question. Well done. Why not try a stupid question? How do brain work? Maybe cells dividing and coming together. Neurons something something electricity. Atoms lose electrons Kay. or gain, I guess. Or uh Oh, this will be good. Oh, boo boo is a little late on the Player screw, but something there. Screw. Quit fidgeting and I like I like the phrasing is uh uh carbon gas exchange. <laughs> Okay, what'd you pick? Brain work by neurons saying hi to other neurons. <laughs> chemical or electrical. Neurons say hi to each other. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> by which I mean. I'm very, very pleased that we all got that right. Everyone got it right. In the audience, well done. Let's try Troublemaker. While ascending the chromatic scale, which creepy note does G always find following right behind him? The loathsome H, the eerie F sharp, the harrowing A, or the bone chilling B flat? I was thinking that might be it.
So what'd you pick? This could be a trick question. Let's call this a teaching moment. The note G is directly preceded mm. by an F sharp. Okay, it's like dun 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 dun. It's okay. F's it was a bit more obvious than I thought it was. Behold, okay. question ten. On the Tyra banks of the river Styx. Which of these characters from Greek myth probably can't smize? Oedipus, Achilles, Odysseus, or Electra? Uh... I don't know. I'm guessing it's like smart or something. It's some kind of like portmanteau. I, I don't know, Amadage. I, I, I don't know. Oh, we found your point of weakness. <laughs> Yep, Oedipus famously... Oh, wait, hold on. This one says Odysseus. Okay, my bad. They, they look very similar. <laughs> to smize is to smile with one's eyes. And Oedipus tragically oh. gouged his eyes out. Oh, I see. Right. I've heard of eyeliner making some oh my god, Ponage. Jeez. You're... Okay, Ponage is like miles ahead. <laughs> like, well done. But come on. It's Let's see what we can do. Attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you okay. pick a right answer, right. the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Flagging enthusiasm. I sure hope you've seen what's on some flags in your life. Good luck. Flagging enthusiasm. Red. Japan. Yep. No. France, yes. 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 The thing about the jack attack, you just gotta take it slowly. It does give you enough time. This is a tricky one. Like, you gotta really kind of pick it and just be careful with this one. Jedi Order was correct. Hey, badass Sharky. Good to see you join us. Again, if, you, if you're not watching, be in the audience, and then you'll be able to take part. No! No, that's a trick question. Okay, here we go. Hey, Zaku. Who has made it? Third Callum. Second me. It's Epic Ponage! Well done, Ponage. The first game goes to Epic Ponage. Well done. Finish the scenario that has been sent to your device. I'm not too sure whether this might work, but yeah, Nexus, I'm really, really sorry. I, I have no idea why the game just suddenly to go like went like nope. So 
Android 21, go to the uh, room code in the bottom right, jackbox.tv, put in your username, and you can join in the audience. But that was really irritating, because I really wanted to know. I really wanted to know. Hunter, don't worry, we'll be playing one more game after this, but... Oh. That is really strange. The shark of saying Jackbox didn't want to admit that everyone wants you to visit Japan. Did that many people agree or anything? Oh, wow. That, that was quick. Right, okay. Brace yourself for... Do it for the art. You're helping out your best friend in a performance art piece at the Met. Your role consists of stroking the mm -hmm. cheeks of every museum visitor and whispering, I crave you. Within the first hour, this person walks in. Do you go through with it? Vegeta or Piccolo? Eh. I'd say, yeah. I think things are okay because I clicked yes and I got like thumbs up or down. I think everyone's just gonna go like, yeah. Some people might with Vegeta. Can I, can I stroke his butt cheeks? Some people might do that. Understandable. He does work out. Oh, everybody voted for yes. The oh. longer it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. Oh, unfortunate. Oops. And now, run time served. Okay, next it's one. It's the future, and you've been found guilty of movie pirating. I no. You. The judge offers you a deal. Instead of six months in jail, you can spend two hours inside this movie. Do you take the offer? Oh. Mm. Oof, that's a... That's a toughie. Oof, that, that's a tough one. That, that is definitely, that, this could be quite divisive. For, Rocks, oh, Rock Smasher, good to see you in here. Uh, yes, because he lives in the middle of nowhere, it just means I've got to be quiet for two hours. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, two hours, just be quiet and all. It's relatively simple. Oh, that's pretty good, audience. Nicely done. And audience now, on to a solid start. Presents, sleep famously. There's a chip in your head that makes you have the same dreams as a celebrity. Your oh. designated celeb is this person. Removing the Got chip one. means you'll only have boring dreams. Do you keep it in? Uh... I'm gonna say yes for this one because Gokwan, Gokwan's stylish. You know, you could, you know, you'd be really inspired to have really cool clothes and look really metro. That's kind of neat. Someone with good dress sense. I'll take that. Right, Sharky? Yeah, that's what I thought. Armadage goes, yes, because I have no idea who that is. Just so you guys know. British um, fashionista. Seven to one. Psionics. You did. You did. Um, Next is. You did kind of split it, but discount. very, very slightly. Okay. Your favorite store offers you a lifetime discount of fifty percent. Uh -oh. What's the catch? Anytime you shop there, you have to spend an hour outside the building beforehand, rain or shine, and do this. Sing. Is it worth it? Um. Mm. That's a good one, but I'm probably gonna say no, because you know it depends on what you have to sing. So, in my mind, I will probably just, like, stick to... Just stick to just doing the old simple stuff. Yeah, what if what if your favourite store is online only? Do you just sing in your room by yourself? But that did split the room quite well. Not bad, Ethel. Not bad. Here's one I like to call... 
Let me take a peek at you. You're one of a hundred people to test an augmented reality game. Uh -huh. You walk around your town and use your phone camera to find cartoon creatures. I know this the is game going. encourages you to take pictures of this. High score gets five hundred dollars. Do you keep playing? Okay. Nah, I wouldn't do that. My. I'd be that I think this isn't gonna split the room. Not worth the money. Like five hundred bucks. Like no. But Major Boo did say yes. That is fifty pounds of nope in a five pound bag. This one is called Artificial Infatuation. Mm -hmm. Your smart speaker has a crush on you. If oh. it catches you with a romantic partner, it is threatened to do this. You Tinnitus. forget to turn it off while a date is over. It just heard you two kissing. Do you save face by pretending you don't like this person? Uh, no. It's a good question, but you could just un unplug it. Like, seriously. That, that, I mean, that's all you need to do. Just unplug it. Unplug it. Restore the factory settings. And ALEXA will never catch me, says Sharka. Ah, clever stuff. And Psyonix is the one to split. Badass Sharky, not bad. It would play a very, very loud noise. Get ready for... Keep one eye open. You are transported back to the moment right before you were conceived. Mm -hmm. So that means, yeah. If you watch your parents perform the act, you'll be born with the ability to do this. You must watch every second, though. Do you watch? Oh... That's, that's a, yeah, because once you got it or deemed necessary, you can instant transmission out of there. Yeah, that's not, that's not a hard yes. Oh God. Look. That, but people would. Uh, people would! Seven to one. <laughs> Feast your eyes on. Never let me go. Right, okay, it's this one. Your friend is grasping your hand, hanging from a small cliff. They look you in the eye and say, This. It's like a 30 foot cliff. Do you let them drop? Hmm. Okay. Got a little bit of a nostalgic twist to this one. I wonder if anyone will get it. Surely you guys are gonna get it. I'd be very disappointed if you didn't. Eh, hey, hey, someone did. You're not playing right now? Go to jetbox.tv and join it in. Hey, hey, long live the king. <laughs> I'll take that. Also, three to five split. This scenario is it's pretty good. You didn't see this coming. You're suffering from a serious case of deja vu. Every right. single day, you experience intense periods of this phenomenon. Mm. The only way to stop it is by doing this. Is it worth it? Well. Oh. No. No, I don't mind deja vu. Like, I, I would. No, I, I'm, a, I'm okay with having deja vu. Like, if, you, if this was deja vu, you can ultimately control it. Then, you could predict the future, because you could turn having deja vu into you saying, 
I can see the future! You could literally just do that. Let's check in with the standings. Oh, I think it's between me and the audience. We've reached the decisive dimension. Everybody will be presented with a new type of scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is already provided. You will decide what's behind okay. door number two. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Yes, oh, you need to make it a tough day. If you predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Right. Write an option that you think only some people would choose. Okay, I think I got mine. And everyone's going like, J Song is leading the um, audience charge of trying to like say they have to beat me. Hey, yo. I'd like to see you try, audience. You are no match against me, even though you're in the lead. I just like to make it very confrontational, that's all. Ethel, actually, the whole Bardock thing, that wasn't a retcon. That was actually the Japanese equivalent of, um, a what if. That's actually what it was. Na uh, Oishi, the artist, confirmed so in an interview at the Hurry time. Up. Time's running out. Android 21 Margin, thank you very much for the follow. Roar. You're on a first date at the cinema. Unfortunately, there are only two movies playing. One is a documentary about genocide, Oof. and the other is this. Which movie do you see on a first date? Okay. It's either genocide or a documentary about... Ma They're both the same thing. Hey, Arjun, thank you for the bits. Have some bits, man. Thanks for these streams to help me through my weeks. A lot of fun. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks very much, my man. Or gal. I'm not one to judge. None of you are getting a second date. The well dog did split the room. You didn't see that coming. That was not bad. I'd probably do the genocide doc this time because it could be a tasteful one. But I mean, the human centipede is oh, unless you both like horror movies. Oh, five to three split, not bad. Great prediction. You just earned some bonus points. Birdemic sequel? Hell yeah! That would, you guys would be laughing, you'd be bonding like, you know, easily. Well, that's an easy choice for me. Hmm, would it be an easy choice for everyone else? Next to me saying Human Centipede 2 is the real deal though. Ah oh, yeah, Mage Boop. Sorry. You do get some psychic points, that's good. Let's switch things. Yeah, Armadage. You gotta watch Birdemic, and if you don't laugh, the person you hmm. meet at the next event you attend. You've been invited to an Ayn Rand festival, and this. You have to attend one of these. Which event do you attend? Glastonbury. Hey, Tony. 
Hope you're doing well. If you've recently just joined, go to jackbox.tv and help choose the decisions in the audience. Because so far, the audience is leading. Quickly join in and get all the glory with none of the work. Oh, well done. Sinox guessed correctly. Because I'm British. Nickelback. I like Nickelback's music. It's alright. But I must admit, just I always keep loving about like... Look at this graph! Yeah. That, that's it. Oh, but that did split the room. You get some bonus points. Ooh. Ooh. Very well done, Sharky. Team 4 star panel. Hell yeah. I, w I have to attend. <laughs> I'm part of it. <laughs> that's, th that's the thing, guys. I have no choice because I'm a member of Team 4 star. <laughs> Which event do I attend? Like... I'll bail on my own. Sorry, KB. Now for something different. You can choose between two types of specially trained dogs. Gross. One can always find clean public bathrooms, and the other can do this. Okay. Which quality do you want in a dog? I, I gotta go clean bathrooms, to be honest. Yeah, that's like an imperative. Two to six. Okay. Get you laid every night with anyone. Nah, I still stand by clean bathrooms because you will believe. You <laughs> London, it's practically impossible. Unless you're in like a top quality restaurant, there is usually something dirty in there. Oh, that did split. Oh, bravo! That actually, that actually split the room. Well done. Find you good quality fast food. Okay. You don't get along with this one. I mean, you know, clean bathrooms. It just helps you find them. So at least you'd be able to find them. I'll take that. Those dirty bathrooms. Oh, dang it! Well, that's me done. I'm, I'm out. My, my, I didn't split the room. My, my answer was too good. It all comes down to this. No, I'm done. Oh, Ethel. Well done, Ethel. You came in and snatched it, but Sinex got the most likes. You got the least. Oh, Major Boo. Sorry about that, buddy. But, well done. So that's the room code. S-E-I-Y. -E like one extra spot. Since this was a problem, there's one extra slot. Them giraffes, Rock Smasher, Jason, Ethel, Monkish, Drunken, Zenkai, and Ponage. All right, them giraffes, you know what to do. I will get in the audience though. Ponage made it. Here are the okay. first matchups. Yo, we got the first two robot battle rappers ready to go, so let's go on and get it in. All right, you gotta hit those voting buttons. Let us know if it's whack or dope. All right, okay. Jason versus Ethel. In high school, I was voted most creative. They thought my rhymes were the most relaxative. When I say hey, all the people shout crap baskets. Uh -huh. Because we were playing and I just crashed it. Ah! That's... That's right, slick. Thanks, thanks. That, now we that, that's on. all right. All right, you're up. Get ready. My rhymes come express so they're never late. Your rhymes are so lack. They deserve all the hate. No. I am the Grand Marshal of Spitting Bars. You're the rapper wanna be living in your car. Oh! Oh! 
Jason, that's slick. Okay, y'all, now the battle is Good over. job. You gotta use your devices to vote. Ooh. That was savage, guys. Ooh. Not bad. Time to vote. Let's see what we can do. Ethel's going, can I vote against myself? 12 to 2. Yep, that's pretty conclusive. Well done, Jason. Lie. Good start. First blood to Jason. Next two robot battlers. Let's get it in. Okay, giraffes, you're up. Do it all, like Kanye. I gave your mom four tablespoons of protein. Way, I'm spinning fire. Protein. Way. With these rhymes, I'm done. I gotcha. Ah, oh, good. That was kind of cool. I know you can do better than that. Now it's your turn. Let's get it in. I've learned all I know from watching Walking Dead. When you come down, I aim for the head. Oh! I'm slam dunking rhymes like a dumbbell. Whacking them down beats down like HG Wells. Oh, we're getting alliterative. We're getting right, alliterative. Peace and love. Let's move on. Yo, check it out. Now it's time to use your devices to vote on who brought it stronger. All right, that was tough, but I know who I'm voting. Did you forget the vote? Let's see what we can do. Right, okay. Thirteen to two. Oh, Teddy's got it. They were both pretty good, but Teddy got it. Okay, here's your winner. Congrats. Now it's time for the next couple of MCs to get down. Oh, sorry, Tuna Newt. We just started this. My rhymes melt on the tongue like salmon. You have salmon, rap. Eh? It's like a famine. Oh, okay. I'm the best MC in all of pool. Come up to me and you will go back to school. Oh, old school. Not bad. All right, all right, thank you, thank you. Now we gotta move on. Yo, you gotta get that. Oh, I'm flying high Polish. like a big old bat. I'm so lucky, I ain't afraid of no black cat. Ah, they call me the okay. of Burger King. Your rhymes are as good as an arm in a sling. Ah, okay. That was okay. Now let's keep it moving. It was all right. Time to vote, y'all. Who brought it and who did I... Uh, I, I'm giving my vote to Monkish because that was close. It was close. I Let's feel like Monkish just in. edged it. So, what are we, what's it gonna be? It's gonna go down to the Y here. Total votes. Monkish just pulls it. But Ponish gets the cheer bonus. Okay, good job. Good job. We got your winner. Uh, hey, man, come on. Watch where you step. It's time for our next battle. So we need the next two cats to step up and get down. Okay. It's Rock Smasher and Zenkai. I'm expecting stuff from Rock. It's a showdown and my words are my giant dildo bats. <laughs> Getting shoved inside my opponents who are twats. Oh. From here to Canada. From Vancouver to east of Ottawa. Geographical on that second one. Alright, thanks. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's your turn now. I'm tenacious, like a dinosaur. I will make you pee pee go sore. <laughs> I come and see and conquer just like Alexander Hamilton. Mm -hmm, political. Once you get on my sensation. Oh. All right, all right. Kind of fell down there. All right. Kind of fell down. Devices to find out who gonna make it and who gonna get slayed. I'm giving him the rock smasher. That it was a bit more consistent throughout. Zenkai started off strong, but it kind of fell down towards the end. I right must now. admit.
Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do this one. Oh, smash. Ah! Oh, 14 to 1. Oh, that was pretty conclusive. But Zenkai got the cheer. Okay, here's your winner. Good job, y'all. Good job. Right, that's the end of round one. Solid. With 17 seconds to spare. Here's the undercard and main event for round two. Somebody better come get this money. Y'all ready for the first battle? Let's get it in. When you open your mouth out comes bag of skunks. I will slash you like your freezer and I'm trunks. Oh, ho, I'm good. Kid. You're just a tiny kitten. There is no one I have ever bitten. Nice. All right, all right. I like that one. Now. Let's keep it moving. Where the next spot at? Grab the mic and get busy. You're so boring. You remind me of Ryan Reynolds. Oh. You're nothing like Goku by Sean Shemmett. Mm. To reach the next level, you got to be best. In this contest, you're just a guest. I'll double rhyme there. Double rhyme, okay. not bad, solid. Right. That's cool. The battle is now officially over. Use your devices and figure out who it is that was the dopest MC. Alright, let's see what we got here. There were Dragon Ball references in both. Both played to the audience. Oh, that was pretty conclusive. Oh, that was close, but eight to six. It's Zenkai with the win and the cheer bonus. Solid. That was next close. Match, next battle. Them giraffes. Let me in and see that I have burpees. Don't touch my schlong. You have contract herpes. I've got rides. All you got is pizzerias. I got the big nasty gonorrhea's. Oh, okay. Toilet humor. Thank y'all. Let's keep moving. I guess that always Time works. You to answer that one. Gotta come strong too. All right, Ethel. I got more processing power than a computer. Just don't try asking me to mute her. Go back to school, can learn some horticulture. Because you'll need Aloe when these burns get sore. Oh, that sounds like something Android 17 would right. say. Tell me who was the whack cat, and then tell me who was the hotline. That definitely sounds like something Android 17 would say. You should go back and appreciate nature. You gotta get them votes in. Android 17 with the, with the dig. Appreciate nature, scrub. A paprini? A uh, trip to Japan? Well, I'm going to be going uh, over Christmas. Is it going to be 8 to 5 Ethel? Everybody voted and we got our winner. Yeah, that's the thing, Ethel. Sometimes you kind of get loose. Um, right. You kind of get obsessed and then you realize, oh no, I have, I've made it really difficult for myself. All right, Jason. We all disapprove of your face. I'll kick your ass from here to space. Simple. If you don't know, you'd better write about now. Dodge before I make you go out. Mm hmm. Am um, I gonna go by J World Yo, in Japan? Let's keep it moving. Yo, where the next bot at? Get your gears. Yeah. Gear. Might I might do. We get time. You're low on fuel. Better pump some pop. With what I am going to do, you should call a cop. Keep your head, don't lose your grasp. Otherwise, you will end up like Cleo, suicide by an ass. Oh, ooh, historical. Okay, word, cool, that's dope. Now let's keep it moving. All right. Okay, now it's over. Who's the dopest rapper? Who's the wackest cat? Tuffy. Tuffy, but I think I've, I've done it right. Zaku, would I be the doctor or would I be a companion? I'll be the doctor, absolutely. But then again, the the kind of doctor I would play has already been done. Matt Smith, really. Yeah, that's the kind of guy I'd play. So I'm like, it's already been done. 
it is what it is. 94 monkish. There it goes. Alright, y'all, here's your winner. I need my next two couple of MCs to step All up. Alright, here we go. Drunk and Teddy versus Rock Smasher. Here we go. You can't rhyme your way out of a paper ring. I send you back where you come packing. I'll beat you all day and twice on Escana. I will have you shouting Drenadaya. That was okay. Wasn't the best I heard, but it wasn't the worst either. You got to answer for that. Come all right, now you welcome up, Smashy D. Step into my kitchen as I make you a filet mignon. In this town, I'm not just the mafia, I'm the fucking don. Oh. You can be my fly cook. Then maybe Gordon won't call you a donkey, you fucking suck. Oh. Oh. Ow. All right, thanks. Appreciate you. The battle is over. I it's think that's pretty conclusive. And vote. Ouch. That's pretty oof. Not only did it rhyme, but that was that was savage. Oh! Oh! Congratulations, Shorty. That was pretty deep. Ouch. Right, you know what yeah, if you're against Rock Smasher, you're in for a bad time. Now let's check out the numbers. Let's see who winning this right now. Now, oh, that's Rock Smasher in the lead. Now I like the way that round three goes. Oh. Okay, here's the car for the final round. Lots of money on the line. Well, let's Are see what ready? we do here. Then let's hit what you got. Rip them apart. Strong and Teddy giraffes. I'm taking you down like an ugly mural. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Seagull noise. I'm gonna put your sorry ass in a cone of despair. Boy, e e e e. That was desperation right, tactic. Right. You Boy. You, know you gotta answer that. Put some weights on them muscles and get them words out. Get out of my face or you'll be disgusting. Here's the way. My eyes are still adjusting. You might make a good personal electrician. And then crippling death. Please help me with my tuition. It rhymes. It rhymes. Alright, alright, thank you, thank you. Now we got him. Next is major boy. Didn't rhyme, but it was creative. Better than one guy that put XD XD XD. Oh, did that happen? Oof. Ow. That that's that's rough, buddy. It's a foregone conclusion. Twelve to one. Then giraffes gets the win. And the cheer bonus. And the winner bonus. You're our winner. Congratulations. All right. Next two robots. Let's go. Okay. Ponage. This is fifth and sixth. You talking to me? Or to my cock? Or you've got the same rhythm as a rock. You run your mouth, I choose my words quickly. Quickly, You'll be to make me feel sickly. Oh, okay. Thank y'all. Let's keep moving. Your turn. Get ready. S that's a slight oof. That day is it. It's the day you get served. The special today. Wrapping loser order. Oh! That, that says world's worst swine. Might I serve you some cheese to go with that fine wine? Oh! <laughs> Solid! Solid. Right now is the time to vote. So Ponage was good, but Jason, that no, that was good. That was good. Wait, that's a way to end it in fifth place. Mate, this could see if done well. This would be like could get Jason maybe on the podium. This could if done right. It seriously depends if it's if it's if it's close. No cigar. We get 13. Oh, it's conclusive. That's 550,000. Oof, that's a, that's a spicy number. Okay, third versus fourth. Zenkai in fourth place. Never have I ever met someone so horrifying. 
trying to be like Goku? You aren't even trying. Take a deep breath, I'm about to wreck your determination. Cause you are in my monster nation. Mm-hmm. Alright. That was okay. Now let's keep it moving. Yeah, Ponage, sometimes the cues aren't that helpful, so I don't blame you. Though. What's wrong with you? Were you raised by dogs? I don't think your brain has any working cards. <laughs> okay. Am I making you sweat? Do you need a grog? Looks like you're falling like a log. I resent that. Okay, alright, that's cool. Yeah, kill a monk. Ding, ding. Like, it does... Rang. Money Both goes up as, you know, you go. So this will be like 40,000 bonuses. Uh, yeah. This one was close. This was close. I think everyone's going to be anticipating what's going on with the, uh, with the last one. But let's see. Hey, Zaku, take care. Okay. This is going to... This is going to decide it. What can we do? What can we do? Ooh, seven to four. Relatively close. And now we got our winner. Nice job, kiddo. Sorry, Blibba, this is the this last the one. And the finale. Who's gonna be still okay. Standing? Monkish versus Rock Smasher. You call me a failure, but I've seen your homework. Your evenings are so lonely. All you do is jerk. Oh. Why don't you go back to being a doctor? So you can pick up your rap. Just like a doctor. Oh! It's deprecating and gross. It's time for you to come back. Show them your strength. Try and hold me down, I'll still break. Free, kick you in the dick to make your balls ache. Okay. You're not the boss of me, not even my manager. I will send you in the hospital, make you pee with a catheter. Okay! Not not the most cutting, but definitely. And um, Paparini, thank you for the follow. Mm. I'm gonna buck the trend. I think Monkish. I think Monkish did slightly better. Monkish did slightly better. They were both good. They were both good. But they, they were both they were both very very solid but one's gotta win who is going to be that winner who's gonna round this off and who is going to win this entire game it monkish what an upset what an upset got the got cheer bonus Let's and oof oof now we gotta see this could won. turn the balance, people. Who is the winner? Oh! 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 Bravo, Monkish. Bravo. Drunken Teddy, Epic Ponage, Zenkai, Dem Giraffes, Ethel, Rock Smashers, Jason, and Monkish. Thank you so much for playing. And thank you to everyone else who took part, and just thank you for being here and enjoying Friday night. So that's it for tonight. I hope you can have a great rest of your weekend. Next week we'll be back with Jackbox, and uh, we may be playing up Fallout 76 more with Exodoc on Sunday. But until then, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and until next time, guys, catch you later.